in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. <laughs> what an intro! Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and you creatures of the fifth dimension and whatever weird underwater creatures that have decided to join me as well. Welcome to Subnautica. Now, if you don't know anything about me or my Twitch channel, I hated this game for the longest time because of Reaper incidents. You can find that on my YouTube channel <laughs> if you want to see me suffer, which many of you probably do. But yeah, I decided to do Let's Play on it since we've uh, put the um, uh, oh Mountain Blade Warband Fantasy Cal Radio mod on uh, that series is on hold for the time being. So we're gonna see how we do in Subnautica. So yeah, welcome. <laughs> this is it. Let's get some materials. So first thing when I start my games is I want to get a few oxygen tanks. So what you need for oxygen tanks is titanium and quartz. So let's see, where exactly are we? Let's just ship over there. All right. So we gotta get some quartz because I need to make some oxo oxo tank. Yeah, oxo tanks. Sand sharks right away. Hi buddies. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Leave me alone, buddy. We're not be buddies. I'm not your buddy. I hate you. I don't like you, sand sharks. I don't like you at all. So, oh, that's weird. That's all blocked up. So is that. That's kind of odd. But, um, okay, let's um, go over here and look for some quartz. But yeah, guys, welcome to Subnautica. I will be doing a series on this, and the overall arching goal of this series will be to explore just about everything. And by that I mean getting a scan of just about everything possible. And that would entail oh hell at some point I'm going to have to take a stasis rifle over to the ship and shoot a reaper with it and then attempt to scan him now I don't even know if that's possible but I'm not going to look it up that that achievement will be the combination of this series and I already hate myself for even thinking about this and doing this because I I I don't fucks with the rivers. I just don't like something ever since that that encounter I don't do jump scares period at all and the things are loud and they're evil and you can't even hurt them at this time there's no way to actually hurt them unless you grab one of those I don't know if gas torpedoes will work but well, I, if I drop that, oh, <laughs> science. Okay, um, science is that if you drop it, it leaves a cloud of death immediately. I thought it'd take a minute to explode, but that was good science. That was good science. That was stupid science. Oh. Emergency. 
10 seconds of oxygen. Oh, here, I'm going to drown right away. I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. I better not drown right away. Not in the first episode. Not in the first five minutes of this. No, I can make it. I can breathe. Oh, my gosh. That was too close. Whew. Much too close for comfort. All right. I got a little bit of quartz. So enough for a few oxygen tanks. That's desperately needed. That one's desperately needed. So let's make this into titanium. Thankfully, the ship here, or the pod, has replenishing energy cells, which is pretty awesome. So, they don't run out of energy very quickly, or as far as I know, they don't. Can I make one more? Oh, dang it. Not enough. How much, I mean, oxygen tanks can I make here? Well, it takes four titanium for oxygen tanks, so I should be able to make three. I want to make one more at some point. All right. Yep, we need one more. That gives me 150 seconds. Attention. 150. 105 seconds. Levels. Pardon me. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive uh -huh. core due to damage sustained Ooh. during collision. Continuing to monitor. Yep. Uh, the Aurora is um, not doing so good. If you don't know, the Aurora is the ship you escape on now. It's kind of a lot of story being built up around this. And I'm really curious to see where they take the story because, as of currently, we don't know where we are or why we're on this planet or, you know, what what the heck? Or what made the Aurora go down in the first place? Why it's why it crashed land? I mean, it's pretty advanced technology, so... But something of even greater, more advanced technology shot it down? Or, I don't know. It's, it's a odd thing in any event. Um, I will need to make a knife. What do I need? Silicone rubber. One for silicone rubber, I believe I need creep vine clusters. So let's go over to the kelp forest now. I have to dodge around these little not friendlies. These guys, stalkers. These guys are stalkers. They are very unfriendly. Unfriendly. So let's get over here. I'm gonna grab the salvage while I'm down here anyway. Now you swim slower the more air tanks you get, so you can't just stack air tanks infinitely with no repercussions, but, you know, on the same hand, you need at least four air tanks. You get one that you equip, and then the other stack in your inventory. I will need a bit, um, there we go, I will need four-ish, something like that, and then we'll be on our way. We're doing good here, stalker tooth. I'm gonna grab that right now while I have a chance. Did he bite the sea rabbit? I didn't know those guys were hostile towards sea rabbits. I'm just taking your tooth, buddy. You dropped it anyway. It's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're chill, bro. We're chill. For the most part. For now. For now. I'm totally gonna kill you and your whole family later. <laughs> we're chill. We're chill. And I'm gonna kill you and your family later tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. But anyway, we need that. We need... We'll just go ahead and melt down all this salvage. We've actually almost run out of power here. We almost tapped out these cells. Yeah, one more silicone rubber. Alright, now we can make the knife. Excellent. Which means we can get those creep vine uh, clusters. Um, I need one more silicone rubber so I can make flippers. That's the basic form of propulsion of getting around down here, so let's go get one more. I'll also need a welder to fix up the pod here a little bit. Oh, that's the cutter. The welder, magnesium, and crushed powder. Well, all right. Well, that's pretty easy to get your hands on. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot that this place has a built-in medical fabricator, which heals you right away. Excellent. All right. Full health. Excellent. All right. We got to go find one of these exploder friends. Well, they're not really friends. They're really enemies. Okay, we're on the edge of the shallows here. We're pretty close, actually. Is this the spires area? Hmm. I think I'm pretty close to the spires where I normally build my base. And I will show you this. It's a good area where you can find all kinds of resources, particularly silver, because you will want to be made of silver late in the game, to be sure. I will cut you. Ah, give me. There we go. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Nope. No, no, what did I tell you? What did I warn you? I warned you. I freaking warned you. I warn you. I will cut you again. You stupid 
Stupid stalker. Hey, hey, we're chill, bro. Just be chill. Just be chill. No, that's not chill. That's not chill. Just chill, man. Just chill. No, I said chill. You need to chill. You totally, 100% need to chill. 100% need to chill. Go chill. Go swim around with your other stalker friends. Leave me to my work. I have things to do. I don't have time to play with you. Oh, you suck. Ah, oh, of course. Oh, Mimi's. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to do my stuff here. I'm just trying to do my work. Ah, no more titanium. Can't have too much titanium. Well, actually, you can. I can't have too much titanium. But I'm gonna drop that. Of course, because you only need two. Uh, dang it! What did I need? Oh, crushed powder. Yes, I came out to find those unfortunate explody fish, which will be difficult to deal with now that I'm not such a healthy person as I was two seconds ago. Thanks to freaking stalker. Just leave me alone and let me do subnautica. It's hard enough on me as it is here. We're doing good on inventory space. Grab you. Grab you. Never say no to quartz, ladies and gentlemen. Ever. You need the stuff for a whole bunch of... Oh my gosh, this is a quartz heaven. Quartz heaven. Oh my gosh, I'm going to come back here. Ah, uh, We're going to be full up on inventory space now. So even if I find the... Hey. Oh, well, crap. Yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Mm, that hurt. Not as much as not being able to take your stuff. So I'm going to drop a titanium. Let me get out of here. Now there's another quartz. So drop another titanium. So titanium is the most... Um, well, you need a lot of it. But, you know, you can find it anywhere. And a lot of it in the form of salvage. So that works great. Awesome. So did I get everything I needed? I think that's everything I need. Alright, we head back to the pod. Honestly, the pod here did not spawn in a good place. It's kind of far from the shallows from where I'm going to get my resources. So, swimming back and forth will be kind of annoying. But, overall, it's not going to be too bad. And unfortunately, I had to swim past Stalker, Soccer Alley here, whatever. These buggers are going to give me trouble if I'm not careful. Leave me alone. Just, just chill. Just chill. Just chill. I'm out of chill. I think you swim faster on the surface for some reason. That's weird. All right, here we are, back to the pod. Excellent. All right, and the regenerating power cells have done their job. Excellent. We'll need fiber mesh at some point, so we're gonna have to use those seed, those clusters that we got. And next, um, oh, dang it, click what I want. Not a flare. Magnesium. So in order to make magnesium, I believe we need five, three salt deposits here. I am correct. Three salt deposits. That's what we require. So I'm just gonna use the storage chest here to. Throw in all the stuff we don't need. Well, actually, did I get lead? I did get lead. Ooh, what does it, does it take to make the radiation suit? Radiation suit. Two fiber mesh and two lead. Did I make fiber mesh? Was that fiber mesh? No, that's silicone rubber. I'm sure I made fiber. Yeah, I did. So that's great. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, all right. So we need to go down and get... Dang it, I done, I done gone and forgotten. I done gone and forgotten what the recipe was that easily. Salt deposits. I need three salt deposits. Well, that's plentiful. Salt is practically everywhere. Practically. Let's swim down here and see if we can find some. There's quartz down here as well. Isn't that weird little... What is that? What are you? Is there something that's going around in here? Hello? Hello? Who's in here? Somebody swimming around? <gasps> Ooh, that's gas pot seed. I will take that. I will take that. That you can put the, uh... Oh, if you find eggs of any particular species that you like, if there's anything that you like in this in this world, you can put them in a fish tank and they will hatch. And any aggressive creature, say the stalker or sand shark, will become passive and won't attack you. An easy way to get a good scan on those guys. And they also can be taken out and put into a bioreactor for a literally limitless power source. Well, not limitless, as long as you have creatures to put into your um, into your bioreactor, which is always fantastic. There's plenty of life. There's plenty of life to burn on this world. And to be honest, I wish I could find a freaking reaper egg, but I don't think they lay eggs. <laughs> Maybe they do. I don't know. I know nothing about them other than when I hear them, I literally have a small anxiety attack, and it's never good. That 
heck was that? I thought that moved there for a second. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core Ooh. may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. Mm. By physical injury, 11%. Uh. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. Oof. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. 65%? I don't like those odds. Not one bit. Oh, one more salt deposit. Huzzah! That's all the salt deposits we need. Excellent. How much more inventory space do I have? Okay. Tab brings up your inventory, by the way. If you're new to this game and want to control scheme, WASD is forward, of course. Forward, back. Space bar is up. C is down. And then you, know, you use your mouse to look around. And then when you have a weapon out or a tool, right-click to use it. But you swim faster when you're not having a tool in your inventory. And you swim slower the more oxygen tanks you have. High capacity oxygen tanks weigh you down even more. And the light capacity tanks let you swim faster. But they don't have as much oxygen. So. They have, I think they have more oxygen than the stock air tank. But, you know, when you have the sea glide. Which is one of the machines you can get in the game. If you get the sea glide and a pair of charging fins, which is something you can get through a um, advanced, what is it called, a modification station. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, you can actually charge your sea glide while on the go, making your battery last longer. And in the most recent update, they added battery chargers. So the high capacity tanks are a must have at all times. So. We got the salt deposits we needed. We got tons of titanium now. We need the crushed powder. What was the other thing we needed? Last I forgot. What is the other thing we needed? I can't even keep my... Okay, well that's it. What was the, what was the recipe exactly? Oh, titanium. No battery. Alright. Well, I'm not going to complain. I will not complain. One magnesium, please. Thank you. Ever so kindly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed. Let's go ahead and make some batteries. And uh, now we can make the welder. Now we can repair the pod. Get us back to 100% capacity. Hello, Mr. Welder, my best friend. Let me just weld this sucker up. There we go. There we go. Now I'll clear out all the smoke, too, I think. And repair this, too. This is the communication system. Awesome. That means we get rescue at some point. Alright, status looks. Hull integrity okay. Secondary systems online. A new message has arrived. Oh, really? Playing message. This oh. is an automated bounce back from the Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, 9-9-9-9-9 hours. Okay, so I'm gonna be here a while, it looks like. Alright, so survival is the first order of business. Of course, as it is in every situation, when you find yourself in a crash or a situation similar to this. Craft all this down into titanium, which is wonderful. Oh my goodness, we got a good amount of titanium right away. I think I had two air tanks. Am I right? I am right. So, one more air tank will complete my air tanks, giving me 165 seconds of air. Excellent. Next thing on the list is a builder, so I can build a base. Computer chip is what's required. To build a computer chip, we'll need table coral samples and a silver ore. That's easy. Um, give me the water and the nutrient bar, and I'm gonna throw the fire extinguisher away, and I'm gonna put the egg in there for now. Unfortunately, we are quickly running out of inventory space, so we're gonna go ahead and throw away that because we do not require it for anything. Oh, should I build a scanner first? I probably should build a scanner. So I can scan all these blueprints that are lying around, because otherwise I won't be able to do anything once I get a base. So what does it take to make the scan? Oh, I already have it! Titanium and a battery! Ha ha ha! Well, aren't I just ahead of the game? One scanner! Excellent. I can scan wreckage and other things to get blueprints. So what you do once you have your scanner, like I said, for you 
new people out there, if you're new to this. I doubt my video is the first one you're finding of Subnautica, but if it is, by any slim chance, you go up to these boxes here, or wreckage, that has that little icon. See the little icon in the lower right? When I look at it, it appears. That means that something scannable is in front of you. So then you just scan it, and then it tells you how much progress and how many more parts you need to find. So I need to find one more part of the Sea Glide fragment in order to make myself a Sea Glide, which is wonderful and is excellent. So normally when you find titanium, or not titanium, silver, it'll be in one of these kelp forests around all these stalkers. But there's, uh, again, there's also, oh, that's right, scan a hoop fish, hoop fish, hoop fish, hoopy fish, hold still, hold still, I'm doing science, thank you. That is my goal, to completely scan every single creature in Subnautica. That is my ultimate goal here. Hopefully, I can achieve that. But I am not hopeful. <laughs> I am not hopeful. Ooh, that's right. Every creature, that includes these stinking little... Uh, what are they called? Uh, creep vines. Are they creep vines? I forget. Yes, creep vine. Indeed. Indeed, I was correct. Excellent. Oh, and also I will scan the limestone chunk. Now, technically this is not a creature, but this helps in other ways because you can add this information to your, um, well, database, and you can then use the scanner room to scan for certain types of materials. If you ever get to a scanner room, of course. Oh, I didn't need you. Uh, ooh, solar panel fragment. Hells to the yes. We need you badly. That is a renewable energy source. That is all too important, especially in the early game. If you build bases down in the lower, like in the caves or in the dark zones where sunlight does not reach, then you don't need to bother with that. That's when you'll need the bioreactor and the nuclear reactor or the thermoreactor, which in my personal opinion is my favorite form of power. But it's kind of difficult to set up because you have to set them on top of thermo vents or areas where there's heat because there are smokers out there which you can tap into. Um, still no titanium, or not, we have titanium for days. Still no silver. That's a little bit saddening to me. Unfortunately. Let me get some air. And unfortunately, there's a stalker guarding these two fragments. Now, listen here, friend. Or not friend. Oh, nope, you're not gonna be a friend. Uh, yeah, get lost. Yeah, blood in the water. Blood in the water, that's right. Oh. Got a friend. Nope. Get lost, bitch. Get out of here. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Excellent. I need that. Oh, you're gonna be serious, aren't you? Oh, you're gonna be very serious about this. Oh, crap. I may be in a trouble. Oh, one more little nick, and I'm dead. One more little nick, and I'm dead. Ooh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I'm out. Oh, nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. No. 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 No means no. Oh. 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 Oh snap these MLG skills I have today. Where did I get these skills all of a sudden? I made it out of there. I can't believe it. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Come on. Turn around. Oh crap. I could not run them. They were faster than me. They bit me to death. Dang it. But when you die, that's good for us to know. <laughs> when you die, you only lose what you had on you after you left the pod. So all this stuff is still here. All the stuff I had before I stepped out of the pod is still here. And the blueprints I've scanned. Oh, oh, oh. It's almost time. Oh, I was going to say, if that was perfect timing. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. 85.5%. Observing a one kilometer safety range. Hmm. One kilometers. I don't know. I wonder if you do die if you're too close to the aurora. But I don't know. What the heck was that? Something got unplugged. Oh, well, nothing that appears to be. Oh, no, come on. Leave me alone. Just let me get my scanner. Do my scanning and find silver. That's all I want. I don't want nothing to do with you. Ooh, there's a bleeder. I never scanned a bleeder before. I have to give it a shot. Where's the silver ore I needed? All right, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Don't move. These things will bite you. Gotcha. 
Excellent. Oh yeah, one more creature added to my knowledge base. Database learning more about this strange alien world. Ooh, there's a good amount of silver in here. Is there more? Ooh, there might be more. Something to scan? Ooh, sandstone chunks. Ah, yes. That's the type of stone that gives you this. Ooh, more silver. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, fantastic. Oh, glorious. A little bit of gold. Now, gold is not too useful. You use it for building power transmitters, which is the way you tap into thermal vents. What you do is you build the thermal plant upon a heat source of some kind, and then you build uh, power transmitters from it to your base. And you can actually move that. I wonder how far those actually go. I, I suppose that if you wanted, you could use power transmitters to send power from a surface base all the way down to an underwater deep sea base. I... I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Let me get over here and scan this. Oh, a solar panel fragment. That'll give me a solar panel. Complete and clear, right? Correct. Solar panels have been unlocked. Fantastic. All right. So we're doing good here, guys. Let me get in here. Inventory secured. Excellent. And I'll take the new med pack. The med pack generates a... Well, the med pack fabricator generates a med pack once every 30 in-game minutes. So that's always something to be aware of. So next thing I need, what is? It? I should have grabbed more of those to make silicone rubber, but I do would rather have the sea glide, which I don't. I didn't even have the blueprint for it. Well, crap. Um, then I'm done. Let uh, me eat the nutrient bar. I'm good. I have an extra med pack on hand, so. The builder. Computer chip and battery. Alright, we did have the components for this. Oh, we need two table coral samples. Alright, let me show you the table coral here. Oh, and that's also something we can scan. I'm probably going to make these episodes about uh, 30 minutes long-ish. I'm going to make them a little longer than I ever made my Minecraft series, which I never did finish, by the way. I never did end up fighting the Ender Dragon. Mm, sad. And I lost my Sword of Darkness. Oh well, this is my new sword of darkness. The sword of darkness has been reborn. Yes, <laughs> that's what happened, and that's what has happened here. Cut these two apart, and then scan these for science. We're doing science here. Look at this. Look at this science. Look, it's got like computer chips, and stuff, and then that is a, uh, a rabbit ray egg. Those are those guys swimming around, and they breed like, well, rabbits. <laughs> That's the namesake, I suppose. Thus, uh, that should be painfully obvious. I apologize. That should be super obvious. All right. So we have the equipment for the computer chip. Ta-da! And then we make the builder. Oh, we're missing a battery. Well, did I not have any copper? I don't need any copper left. I do have copper. And I have two acid mushrooms on me. <laughs> it's like I planned this, or uh, it's like I did, but I totally didn't. I'm doing horribly here. Yeah, I'm not doing it. It's not. It's not good. It's not good. All right, there is the builder. Ta-da! Nice new shiny toy to play with. And all right, so that'll be it for now, guys. When we uh, actually get back, we will watch the aurora explode because this thing explodes gloriously. And then I will head off in the direction of my base location, and then you guys will get to see where I build my base, and I'll tell you why I build my base there, and all that good stuff. And we'll continue to work on acquiring the equipment to study this strange planet on. Because I am a scientist! This is for science! This is, this is for science. Oh, hello? What? Birds? When were there birds? Or, what is that? A wing thing? But yeah. Anyway guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all on the dark side!